pretty blingy. Um, Warp drive active. So I rock a Zegma integrated analyzer. Um, when I go scanning, I have a full head of implants. Um, so I've got the full scan clone. I have a, I have a black glass in my head for the uh, Zegma to be even more efficient. Um, in the bottom here, I have two multi-spectrums. Then I have a plate. Uh, that gives me the EHP and the buffer necessary for the um, uh, for the archive rooms. Here we are. We're landing at the standard. Let's go ahead and hack it open. Um, the rep is good. The rep is good. This is actually a bottom tier dead space rep. Uh, 641 HP per 9 seconds. Um, I also keep drugs. Just in case I get, like, stacked waves that make me feel uncomfortable, I have repping drugs. So I can, um... I can power rep through everything. Um... But yeah, it's nothing crazy. It's a, uh... It's just a, uh... A Centum C-type. So it's not as blingy as it could be. Those things are, like, I think 100 mil. Um, whereas the top tier... Uh, okay. Reppers are like 300 mil, I'd say. Uh, yeah, people can run it with Abyssals. Abyssals is just like... If you have Abyssal T2s, it's just a poor man's faction. Or, sorry, a poor man's dead space. Uh, okay, I targeted the wrong thing. Ignore that. So, I have a special methodology for this standard superior. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Words are hard sometimes. I have, a, I have a specific methodology for this um, standard sleeper cache. So all of this crap over here, um, the remote defense grid, all of the coordinate plotting devices, I ignore it. It's garbage. Um, Dave get asking all the gank questions. Right questions, I mean. Right questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got a cloak. It's okay. No, sorry. Ain't going to high sec. Hey, man. Whatever your play style, you're welcome here. No worries. Um, get in on that giveaway, by the way, guys. There is eight entries, and there's more than eight people here. There is 44 of you guys. Get into Discord. Get in the Sugar Me Timbers channel. Click that party popper. Click that raccoon if you're feeling frisky. Um, somebody keeps doing raccoons. Um, <laughs> they think it's going to give them an extra thing. Uh, I think Vinny started that. Criminals aren't welcome in Galente space. Gotcha. Uh, you know that too well. Um, have you tried, like, not doing crime? I think that would that would fix your, uh, your problem there. Alright. Now we're going to go to the Dented. No crime, does that work? I mean, if your security status is good enough, yeah. Um, yeah, you don't even have to be in high sec to do these. Um, it's just easy for me. Um, yeah. These things give you a lot of money, man. You know, that's why I like to showcase them. Because there's a lot of stuff in the game that can make you money that you might not know about. Um, and sleeper sites are actually something I'm passionate about. I love them. They are my favorite part of the game. Um, I believe that they are a beautiful piece of content and CCP did this correctly. My only crime is killing people who can't die. Y'all over here stealing stuff and whatnot. Oh yeah, we do be slaving here in Amar. We do be slaving. We slavin' for a better tomorrow. Alright. So now, here's the deal. This last can, this mangled storage depot, you have to be prepared to do some leet hacking. Because once you, um... Once you hack this can, it will spawn a alarm can. And if you, um... If you cannot hack it in time, it will trigger the alarm in the site, flood the site with terrible, harmful, caustic gas... Um, or acid, or whatever you want to call it, uh, that can easily destroy your ships. 
Um, it is a death sentence for frigates, for sure. Um, so you gotta do some fast hacking. The upside is, is if you hack this, it will give you a pristine can, and that's actually the only reason why I care. Um, because it does give you a pristine can that spawns once you finish. Um, otherwise, I just let it trigger because I'm going to trigger the site anyway later. I might not get this one just because time. Crap. I might not get this one because time. Nope, we're good. Grim is still number one. Not a moment of doubt ever. Alrighty, let's see what this pristine gives us. You usually do crab beacons or C5 sites for the money. Wow, there really wasn't even, even anything good in there. It's a 720 millimeter uh, howitzer. Cringe. All right. So again, I don't mess with any of that stuff over there. It's lame. It's boring. Um, it's also unnecessary. Um, so what I do is I just burn straight out 100 kilometers to get to the immobile tractor beam. Ah, delicious water, by the way. Um, beautiful. So we're going to go straight to the immobile tractor beam. I'm going to drop my drones out, my light drones, and turn on my tracking link because this sentry gun is going to aggro on me along with the three in the back. I can at least kill this one that's in front of me. Um, so pretty much I'm just going to let my drones do their thing. I'm going to go right up to the tractor beam and I'm going to hack it. The reason why we hack it is because if we look over to the far end of the site, um, you can see beacons. David M, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard, mate. Welcome to the crew. Glad to have you. Um, there are storage depots all the way out here. And I don't feel like going all the way out there. So I'm going to use the tractor beam to pull them to me. Tractor beams. Friend of the lazy man. I seem cool. Thank you very much. That is a very nice compliment. I didn't mean to click that, but okay. All right, we've hacked the tractor beam. Now that we've hacked the tractor beam, it's going to pull those depots right over to us. Lazy man doing lazy man things. Let's turn our rep on, repair a little bit. Um, the cool thing is, is we in this site, we are allowed to kill the sentry towers as opposed to the superior. All right, we're going to cargo scan the dented, see what's in it. We've got a whiskey, explosive shield amplifier. I can't remember if that's profit or not, so I'm just going to hack it and grab it. Sort it out later. It's free and it's in front of me. Beautiful. All right. Now we have a bunch of other cans that kept being pulled over. All right. We've got 10 mil in that intact, so we will take that. Uh, it's a laser physics book. We do not want that. I don't even know how to read. You've only ever hacked in co-ops, so sleeper sites were spooky. Interesting to see a better method. Yes. This is a good method, my friend. This method puts money in your pocket. Makes you happy. Uh, we got polarized rocket launcher blueprint. That's the only reason why I will hack that. And then let's check the last one. Uh, the last one is trash. It's a 125 millimeter compressed coil gun. Alrighty. Um, I do not advocate for cherry picking, by the way, in data sites. Uh, sleeper sites are an exception to the rule. Because in sleeper sites, as soon as you leave the site, it will despawn. Um, so you're not inconveniencing anybody.
You're only saving yourself time and effort. All right, we're going to go to this intact storage depot. Let's put a burst of micro warp on it to get them quicker. Oh, I can shift click to unlock the target. You're right, you're right. Sometimes I forget, like, hotkeys like that, just because I have habits of just doing things the dumb poor way. Uh, so thank you for that reminder, man. Appreciate you, Lord Cancerous. By the way, Lord Cancerous is the first time chatter. Thank you for hanging out, brother. What's actually really funny, Zornia, is I am a Logi pilot. Um, I am I am a Logi pilot, and I have bad fucking uh, micro or macros. All right, recall our drones to Drone Bay because they killed that dude dead. Um, but I'm I guess I'm not like the best Logi pilot I could be, um, because that does seem very helpful. Um, one of my most notable moments as a Logi pilot is, um, sitting there cussing because people kept jamming me. Um, and people on Reddit thought it was really funny. The Reddit people know me, apparently. Not very well. My corp knows me as the, uh, very over-enthusiastic guy when it comes to doing stuff. Um... Oh, yeah, absolutely, Sordia, absolutely. Um, okay, so we have taken care of the cans that we care about. Now, we're going to do something very interesting. We are going to intentionally trigger the site. We're going to intentionally um, make the site mad at us and try and kill us. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fail the... I'm just going to intentionally fail the hacks on the remote defense grid. That's why I don't hack it. To rearrange, like, the sentry gun and stuff. Um, the alarm level rises every time that you fail. And it has the chance to activate the guardians. Alright, guardians have spawned. We are going to burn straight down 25 kilometers. Okay, we're playing we're playing with fire here. It's fun. Remote defense grid, keep it range, 25 clicks. So the guardians will spawn. They will fill it with gas. Gas hurdy. Okay. And then the clouds expand. So as you can see, there's these big clouds of stuff that hurt you. Um, the, these clouds have claimed the lives of many a frigate pilot. Um, now, you note that in local it says the cloud of corrosive material is about to expand. And then one of the units seems to be malfunctioning. Alrighty, that's our cue. Um, so that guardian unit explodes... And then it reveals a spatial rift. So you see this big explosion. It doesn't hurt you, which is nice. I'm really happy that it doesn't. Um, so now we're going to take the spatial rift. It's going to take okay. us into a hidden room. Active. Alrighty. Alright, now we don't need our reps anymore. We can turn them off. Now, upon landing, it looks empty, but it is not empty. Um, what I do is I just go ahead and I set myself to full speed. And it reveals a remote defense grid unit. Hey, man. I appreciate that you appreciate this music. Um, this is Ghoul Town. Um, I only play music on stream that I have permission to play. 
Um, so if you enjoy the music, feel free to listen to it on your own. Um, if you really enjoy their music, you want to send them some fan mail, feel free to shoot them an email or something, tell them how much you like your music, and let them know that you got to hear their music on Brother Grimoire's stream. Um, let them know that that's where you found them, because that little bit of affirmation that they did a good thing by letting me stream their music, it helped them, um, really helps um, keep that relationship nice and happy. Um, so we're going to hack the remote defense grid unit, and the remote defense grid unit is going to hack, or is going to reveal, after we hack it, um, it is going to reveal some more cans. Alrighty. Um, but it also activates a self-destruct. So we have three minutes to hack all these cans. I usually go out to the intact and then come back to the pristine. That has a mill in it. Um, I mean, I'm just going to do them all. I just kind of want to see if there's any that are absolutely not worth it. So those are mediocre. Um, it's strange because you don't hear this kind of stuff on Twitch. Yep, um... So I have permission to use their music on Twitch. Um, they were really cool about it, which is why you can hear it here. Because um, I don't have to worry about like my my VODs being muted or anything like that. Um, so it, it's nice. I like to be able to bring that kind of music as long as I get permission from an artist. I will play it here on stream. Um, it's just some artists are more protective of their copyrighted works than others. Um, some of them are like, fuck you, pay me, which is completely within their rights. Okay, we've got three million and some other stuff here. So this is actually a lackluster kind of a room, um, this go-around. Um, it's really all chance-based. Um, sometimes I've had these rooms give me over 200 million isk. Um, honestly, like... Every depot that you can open is good, even if you're doing lesser um, superior caches. Alright, so in this site, there's also a self-destruct sequence unit. Ghoul Town is the band, yes. Um, there's a self-destruct sequence unit, so if you burn over to it, you can actually um, reset the timer. Back to three minutes. Um, and a neat little trick is if you're running out of time on the hack um, and you don't think you're going to get in in time, all you have to do is fail the hack and it will extend your time. It will actually reset the um, timer to 60 seconds so that you can try again. Um, it's a real nifty thing. So we just reset our timer to 3 minutes um, with the successful hack. So we just go over here, grab the other ones. Um, I actually found that out by accident one day. Because um, it was getting down to the wire. And I have used it purposefully a, a handful of times, actually. Um, there's a lot of stuff in, in these caches um, that Johnny Pugh and I have learned together. Um, dude is a wealth of knowledge. If you guys don't know Johnny Pugh... Um, he does a little bit of streaming here on Twitch, but his bread and butter, what he does, um, for his main content is he makes YouTube videos, um, through our relationship, um, being friends, uh, he got to learn about sleeper caches and he, he absolutely loves them now. Um, he even said that if he knew about these, he might not have quit the game, um, way back in the day. Um, so that gives me all sorts of warm fuzzlies, man. Because Johnny's, Johnny's a real cool dude. Um, so to hear him say something like that is, uh, is super, you know, super cool. Um, 
Give me a second. When I'm finished doing all these hacks, I will give a shout-out to the man. Because he is so awesome. Usually he's in here supporting me. Lurking at the very least. He's an awesome guy. Um, we just finished off all the cans in the site. Um, and then when the timer's done, they will self-destruct. It is a harmless self-destruct. 